Would America be better off as a third world country? I've been thinking about this and I actually heard somebody, they quoted uh, Donald Trump saying that we have to fix the economy or we're going, going to end up as a third world country. Uh, well, what is a third world country? Let's just cover that first and foremost. Uh, well, first world country, it has certain services and, and it does very well economically and, and um, the roads are good, the, you know, the infrastructure is good and strong and there's just laws and, and whatever else. Uh, a third world country, not so much so. <laughs> um, I've been in uh, third world countries. Uh, I was in Costa Rica back in 1991, then again in 1993, and then I forget what year it was that I went to Honduras. Um, but I've seen third world countries. Now, Costa Rica might be maybe a second world country or something back when I went there all those years ago. But Honduras, very poor, extremely poor. And um, but I noticed something very interesting when I was down there. Uh, because it was poor, there wasn't a whole lot of enforcement of laws and whatever else, and in many ways they were freer than we are. And that's the point of this video. A lot of people get all scared and, oh, what would happen if we lost the, if the dollar loses the world reserve currency status? And what would happen if, if America, you know, starts to go downhill and, and we don't have much money and oh, what would happen? Well, we might actually get some more freedom. Um, this area where I live, I will tell you right now, having been in the third world, um, this area and many other areas in America are pretty much already a third world country. Um, there are people that live in this area, you know, sub-zero temperatures in the winter time, and um, their roofs are bowed like that. Looks like they're about ready to cave in. And they live there throughout the winter. Um, I've known of people that have been up here and they live in a travel trailer, like a camper type of a thing. And, you know, electric little heater or something or a propane buddy heater or something like this. Or uh, They live very poor, just like in the third world country. And um, there was an article, Bangor Daily News, I think it was, Holton Pioneer Times or something. And they were talking about the police situation here in this area of northern Maine. And it went from, I think, uh, 28, it was either 28 or 26 police officers um, to uh, two. <laughs> and they're losing funding. There's uh, other reasons, I think, that have to deal with things, injections into the shoulder that the police are starting to drop off. Um, not surviving very well and um <clears throat> and i mean it's just crazy seeing this nation becoming a third world country and of course we can see what's happening down south right now with the uh, cleanup from all the flooding and things from hurricane helene and again is is this really a first world country when we can't even afford to uh, help people in bad situations and the roads, the infrastructure completely is destroyed. And it's just sort of a, eh, well, you know, we're, we don't really have the money to do anything right now. And, um, you know, if you're an illegal alien, you get $10,000 just to come here to this country. But if you're a, you know, American citizen, we'd give you $750. Uh, it's mind boggling. Um, and people are just, they have to hold on to this the dream, the American dream, you know, with this death grip. Oh, we just can't let it go back to some kind of a third world country or go to a third world country, I should say, not back to a third world country, but, um, you know, let's make America great again, says Trump. Okay, well, define that. What does it mean to make America great again? You mean increase the debt? Let's, let's uh, have... Um, you know, uh, computer chip factories in America so we can come along and we can, we can uh, um, mine things and we can just completely rape the environment and <clears throat> have people living in compact cities. Is that really what we want? So we can maintain our uh, lifestyles of excess? I remember seeing a thing many years ago that there was some all-you-can-eat smorgasbord in um, 
Las Vegas, I think it was, or something, and they said that the food service area is like the size of a football field or something inside this restaurant. And you can get whatever you want, you know, steak or seafood or, you know, pizza or anything. All the food. And that they, they said that every night that they um, close, that they were throwing out uh, a dump truck load of food. And I just thought, how wasteful, how extremely wasteful. And the stories I've heard of people, you know, that they just, oh, you're done with your food. Um, there's no leftovers. We'll just, whatever you don't eat, whatever you don't feel like eating, just throw it in the trash. I mean, the waste that has come from this country. Why do we want to continue that? Again, you know, for all the people out there that support Donald Trump, um, his vision of making America great again uh, is not a good thing. It does not preserve freedom. Um, you know, quite frankly, the thing that made America great was the First Amendment and the freedom to be able to preach and teach the Word of God without uh, people coming along and persecuting you for what you believe. That's what made America great. It isn't the uh, rock and roll and, and uh, hot dogs and Coke for, uh, back when I was a boy, it was 25 cents. <laughs> that they'd have these you know, hot dog and Coke days, you know, local hardware store or whatever else down in Pennsylvania. And I remember they'd have a uh, Coke and a hot dog day and you'd go in there and you could get uh, things for a quarter. Or, and I think then it went to 75 cents later on and whatever, or a dollar later. But as a boy, it was cheap. Well, that's what made America great. You know, our amusement parks and, and uh, you know, ah, amusement, you know, uh, a in front of something, muse means to think, so ah uh, means I don't think. Uh, ah, muse, um, interesting little thing. They're kind of like an atheist. They don't believe in God. So an ah, amusement park means you go there not to think. <laughs> Doesn't take a whole lot to prove that. <clears throat> but, I mean, let's vote somebody in that can continue the problems that this nation has. Um, again, you know, I'll say another little story. Some of you will be able to relate to this. You know, you'll be old enough to remember this. When I was a boy, we'd ride in the back of a pickup truck. Um, nice summer day, get in the back of the, you know, the, the truck bed and go where you need to go. And, you know, you'd be going down the road and here comes a police officer. You wave to him as a little child, you know, hey, <laughs> police officer wave back. He'd smile, you know, um, the good old days, you know. And I had an older brother that was kind of sick, you know, about it. He he would uh, hit the brakes sometime and make us all roll forward into the front of the bed and slam our heads into the back of the truck cab. <laughs> it's all in good fun. He didn't do it at real high speed. Just to uh, make sure we were paying attention. And, you know, I went down to the third world down in Honduras, and I'd see guys, you know, I'd see these little, you know, Toyota four-cylinder uh, two-wheel drive pickup trucks. I think, you know, 10 people in the bed, couple riding on the bumper, holding on to, you know, somebody's back or something, going down the highway, you know. So oh, that's so dangerous. Oh, it's dangerous. Well, you know, that's what a third world country is all about, danger. <laughs> and um, again, you know, another thing, which I've said it a little bit about earlier there, the thing of, um, you know, gross domestic product and, and whatever, what are we producing? What is America producing? You know, 70% of gross domestic product is consumer debt. We produce debt. We don't produce, you know, things. So again, what are we heading towards uh, as a nation? Um, I don't know. Something to think about there. Would we be better off as a third world country? I would say yes. I would uh, much rather have America become a third world country. Little red apples there on the tree. I'd rather have America become a third world country than um, have it brought back to all the glitz and the glamour and everything and the, and the wastefulness that it once was. Um, I mean, it's clear that we are no longer in the America that we, most of us grew up in. That is one thing that's crystal clear. Um, that is gone. But what are we going to have in the future? Um, and I will say this, saw a video the other day um, a guy, an economist, Mark Moss, and I uh, did a very good 
uh, video on the issue of the dollar and how that China is competing with America right now for dominance in the whole dollar market because you have to have gold, something of tangible worth behind you know, backing your currency. And he talked about how that in Fort Knox, they right now he said that the value of gold is $42 an ounce and they claim to have 8,000 tons of gold. And he said if they revalue that gold um, at, I think he said $20,000, something like that, uh, then, I forget what the number was he said, but the whole point was he said that they could basically add $5 trillion to the economy just by revaluing gold. And he said, of course, um, that would help them to be able to continue and, and it would kind of preserve the dollar for a little bit longer. But, um, you know, again, I saw somebody else and they were talking about this and they said that a lot of people are starting to use cash and which is good because a lot of people can't do the credit card thing anymore. So they have to use cash and that's very encouraging. And I'm glad to hear that because it means people are waking up to the nightmare of the whole central bank digital currency issue. And they're saying, we don't want that. We're going to show you that we want to use cash. We are not wanting to use a digital currency that you can switch off if we're not being a good citizen. So if something doesn't happen and they are forced to default on the dollar, um, if China, to finish up what I was saying earlier, China now has you know, an untold amount of gold and they could come out with a currency or back a currency, the BRICS unit or something, and that would destroy the dollar and basically would cause the dollar to default and America would become a third world country. And quite frankly, I think that that would be the best thing. Um, like I said, I've, I've been in a third world country and uh, yeah, there are certain things you can't get, but uh, America is becoming like that too. And I forget what the number of homeless people is right now in America, but it's huge. Um, absolutely uh, gigantic number of people in America they're homeless, like a third world country. Uh, you know, I was shocked the first time I went down to Central America as a teenager, seeing the homeless people. And um, so, but that's going to be it for this video. I need to get going here soon. And um, so, just give me your thoughts on it. I'd like to hear what people have to say on your thoughts about America becoming a third world country. So that will be it. Thank you very much for watching.